Hello, and welcome to another video of Methuklasan. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to do one-way ANOVA in Jamovi. The one-way analysis of variance is also known as single-factor ANOVA or simple ANOVA. It is used to determine whether there are any statistically significant differences between the means of two or more independent, unrelated, groups. The one-way ANOVA is like the extension of the independent samples t-test. So if you want to compare means but you have more than two groups, then you can use one-way ANOVA. Before doing the test, make sure to check the following assumptions. First, your dependent variable should be measured at the interval or ratio level, i.e., continuous. Second, your independent variable should consist of two or more categorical, independent groups. Third, you should have independence of observations. Fourth, there should be no significant outliers. Fifth, your dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed for each category of the independent variable. Lastly, there needs to be homogeneity of variances, Levine's test. If your data fails this assumption, Welch ANOVA can be an alternative. Assumptions 4, 5, and 6 can be done in Jamovi. One-way ANOVA is a collective test statistic and cannot tell you which specific groups were statistically significantly different from each other. It only tells you that at least two groups were different. To determine which of these groups differ from each other, post hoc analysis, Shife or Tuki, is needed. The Shife test is customarily used with unequal sample sizes, although it could be used with equal sample sizes. The Tukey test is only usable when the sample sizes are the same. Here is an example. A researcher wants to compare the effects of three different types of fertilizer on the growth of corn plants. The researcher randomly assigns 10, 10, corn plants to each fertilizer treatment and measures the plant's height, in CM, at the end of the growing season. The following table shows the data. The independent variable in this test is the type of fertilizer. At the same time, the dependent variable is plant growth, measured in height in CM. The null hypothesis states that there is no significant difference in plant's mean height among the three fertilizers. Since the dependent variable, height, is measured in ratio level, and the independent variable, type of fertilizer, is categorical, we have met assumptions 1 and 2. To start the analysis in Jamovi, create a column that will divide the fertilizer type and the plant's height. Make sure to label the independent variable nominal, and continuous for the dependent variable. Here, the first plant under fertilizer A has a height of 87 cm. We will now check for outliers and normality for each group of fertilizers. Go to Analyses, Exploration, and Descriptives. Transfer the dependent variable, height, in the variables box, and the independent variable, type of fertilizers in the split by the box. To check the distribution, go to the Statistics drop-down panel and check Shapiro-Wilk under the Normality option. You may unselect unnecessary measures to see the Shapiro-Wilk values easily. Look at the results on the right and determine the p-values at the bottom. Note that if the p-value of the Shapiro-Wilk test is greater than 0.05, the data is normal. Now. Since the Shapiro-Wilk p-values for each fertilizer type are all greater than 0.05, therefore, the data sets are approximately normally distributed. If your data failed this test, you may do the Kruskal-Wallis test as an alternative to one-way ANOVA. Now, to check for outliers, select the drop-down panel plots and checkbox plot. By inspection, 
we can see that each plot contains no outliers. If an outlier exists, the plot will look like this. Here, the outlier is in the fertilizer A group, and it is located in row 1. The next step is to run the one-way ANOVA, where the homogeneity assumption can be checked, go to Analyses, ANOVA, and one-way ANOVA. Select the dependent variable and transfer it to the appropriate box, and transfer the independent variable fertilizer type in the grouping variable box. To check the homogeneity of variance, select the homogeneity test under the assumption checks option. In Jamovi, the default is Levine's test. Note that if the p-value of the Levine statistic is greater than 0.05, then then the variances are not significantly different from each other. This means that the homogeneity assumption of the variance is met. In our example, since the Levine statistic p-value, 0.704, is greater than 0.05, then the homogeneity assumption of the variance is met. So select the Fisher's test under the Variances option instead of the Welch's because we have met the homogeneity assumption. You will only retain the Welch's test option if you fail the homogeneity check. We will now proceed to the one-way ANOVA table to decide whether we'll reject or retain the null hypothesis in the problem. The analysis of variance showed that the difference between groups was statistically significant because the p-value 0.04 is less than 5% or 0.05, rejecting the null hypothesis. Since we rejected the null hypothesis, we will perform a post hoc analysis. We will select the Tukey test because all three groups have equal sample sizes and variances, through Levine's test. In the post hoc table, the mean difference between fertilizers A and C is negative because the third group, fertilizer C, has a higher mean than fertilizer A. The same can be said for other mean difference comparison in the table. Just so you know, the former group has a greater mean if the mean difference is negative and positive if the preceding group has a higher mean. To check the significance of these comparisons, look at the p-value. Their difference is significant if the p-value is less than 5% or 0.05. In the Tukey table, only fertilizers A and C showed significance since the p-value 0.033 is less than 5%. To explore the results further, select the descriptives table under the additional statistics option. Here, you can see the mean and standard deviation of each group. Here's an example of a report using APA format. 2 and 27 are degrees of freedom from the ANOVA table, while 3.62 is the F statistic value. M is for the mean, while SD is for the standard deviation. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you learned something from this video. Check the description below for the data analysis in Jamovi playlist and other math-related content on my channel. Thank you, and see you in the next video.